G'day, I'm Peter Sesselman, and this is my vlog number three. Now, this um, will be a quick one this week. Two things I want to talk to you about. Uh, the first one is um, advertising. So uh, I want to do those uh, YouTube ads that you pay for, the really annoying ones that you have to <laughs> click to skip. But I want you to be in it, and I want you to promote your act. So it's kind of like a bit of a tit for tat thing. Um, I want to, um, I'll show you here, this is the idea. So. Um, I want to create a uh, video where um, you're playing and it'll have a link to your your website or Facebook page there. Uh, it'll have a picture of the product that you're playing and, the, and also a link to, to my website underneath there. So um, send me your best 10 or 20 seconds, not, not much more because this is an ad, remember, people aren't going to watch the whole thing. If you have a whole length, full length vid video, uh, that could be the link that they click on to see the whole video. So I need about 10 or 20 seconds of your best playing featuring one of my products. Uh, ideally, the product will be visible in the video, but that's not always possible if you're playing at a pub and um, it's a little black hockey puck or something like that on the stage. It's not going to be all that visible. So I can always superimpose that onto the video. So if you can just um, email me, the, the link will be down below um, with 10 or 20 seconds of reasonable quality uh, video and preferably good quality audio to go with it, then um, I will include that in the ad and uh, I'll do about, I'll probably do three ads to begin with, one for stomp boxes, one for pickups, one for drum microphones. So, um, and be 10 seconds for each player and the ads will run probably between 30 seconds and a minute. So it'll be between three and six uh, videos uh, of players featured on each ad. So, um, but as I said, just email me and email the video and the link to your Facebook or web page and the product that you're using, if it's not um, fully visible in the video, uh, to, the, to the link below. Um, so, that was the first part. Second part of this uh, vlog, uh, I just want to show you a little bit what I've been working on this week. Um, so, I've been fiddling around a little bit in the workshop and I've come up with a, with a couple of new products. So, we have, uh, first of all, that's, um, this one here which is a uh, tambourine and bass stomp. So you've got the bass on the heel and tambourine there. I'll, I'll demo them a little bit later on. Also, I've been working on a new, a new um, kick pedal uh, trigger, or, or, or a, again, a bass stomp. So this, this produces the sound. You don't need a drum brain or anything. You can use it to trigger a drum brain, but you don't need it. So this is uh, this is really handy, you know, like it's just plug it into the PA and you've got basically a kick drum. So I'll demo that in a minute as well. Then um, to go to go with that, there's another little thing that I've been working on, which is like a, um, a micro mic. It's a, it's a tiny little microphone. Uh, it's a dynamic, a little bit like a GoPro in a way. Uh, it has this um, dual lock, dual lock attachments here that allow you to, to just kind of clip them onto whatever fittings there are. And there'll probably be a range of stands and fittings. This is just a little wooden block. Uh, so you can clip that on there and it just clips on. And if you're doing a, a radio show or a vlog or something, that can just put that on your desk and you can just talk into it like a microphone like that. Or if you're playing a cajon or something like that, you can just have a little stand that sits on the floor and points up at your cajon. You can lay it down if you want to get right down to floor level, some kind of tambourine laying on the floor or something like that, a bit like the, um, the one I'm going to demonstrate in a minute. So it's just a really low, easy to use little dynamic microphone. Bit like a 57 but much smaller so that's kind of what i've been working on this week next week i'm going to be hope i'm waiting on some samples to come in the mail so next week i'm hoping to be able to do um, a demo on um, guitar pickups and i want to show a range of different pickups what they're good for what they're not so good for why you would choose one over the other or what kind of combinations that you would want to use depending on what you're using them for so that's next week so I, was, I was hoping to do that this week but it didn't come through in time so um, I'm going to just show you a quick little sound demo now, and I'll catch you next week, okay? Cheers! Now you can see how this is actually a rocker action. It rocks back and forth. 
and that makes it really comfortable to play because you, you can just put your whole weight on it and just kind of rock back and forth. So you don't have to be so gentle with how you're lifting your heel and toe. I'm putting my whole weight on that. So you could do this all night long at a gig without any leg strain at all. So that's really cool. Um, this one, great for drummers or for people who are used to using using a, um, a kick pedal. Okay, cool.